If you are deciding whether or not to buy a PV system, you usually want to know how it will look from a financial perspective. For an off-grid system, you often want to know if this is really the least expensive way to obtain the electricity you need. Competing options may include running a power line from the nearest grid connection point or using a gas or diesel generator. For an on-grid system, you usually want to know if the system will eventually pay for itself, and if so, when. You may still want a PV system even if it never pays for itself, perhaps because you want to be more environmentally friendly. But then you still probably want to know how much extra you'll be paying for PV electricity. If you are deciding between a grid-connected system with or without batteries, you will probably want to know what the cost is of the extra security you are buying. There are two ways that people do financial analyses while deciding whether or not to purchase a PV system, an investment analysis and a side-by-side -side comparison. An investment analysis evaluates a potential PV project like any other investment, comparing the expenses of the investment to the expected avoided costs and revenue. The question in an investment analysis is whether you should do the project or not do it, meaning make the investment or not make it. Usually you do an investment analysis like this for a location where there is already electricity available and you are deciding whether or not to add a supplemental PV system. By contrast, you would do a side-by-side -side comparison when you want to consider multiple options for bringing electricity to a location, typically a location where there is presently no electricity. You might also do an analysis if you are comparing options to replace a site's present source of electricity. Usually no monetary revenue is expected when doing such an analysis. The difference is that in an investment analysis, you are usually looking for a project that will make money or at least pay for itself. You expect to have electricity at the location either way. In a side-by-side -side comparison, you are looking for the most effective way to spend money in return for the benefits of having electricity at the location. However, the technique of the two analyses are basically the same. You can think of a side-by-side -side comparison as two or more investment analyses looked at next to each other, albeit with different goals in mind and usually no monetary revenue expected. So in these materials, we will primarily discuss how a basic investment analysis is done. In any analysis of an energy system project, there will be multiple costs that need to be considered. The most prominent of these are Installation costs These costs include preparing the site for the installation, including design, permitting, parts, labor, and cleanup costs. If you have hired a company to do the installation, all of these costs are usually rolled into a single bid, along with profit for the installer. Fuel costs this is usually diesel fuel or gasoline for a combustion power generator, which may be used exclusively or with a PV or other renewable energy source. For a system with only PV, the fuel cost is zero. Maintenance costs. These costs may include regular inspections, cleanings, insurance, taxes, loan payments, and other recurring expenses. Repair and Replacement Costs These costs include replacing failed modules, inverters or batteries, and repairing other problems that may occur over the life of a PV system. Since modules are expected to last for 20 to 25 years and inverters are only expected to last 5 to 10 years, we can expect to replace the inverters a few times over the life of a PV array. Salvage Costs Salvage costs are what needs to be spent to dismantle and dispose of the system when it no longer works or is no longer wanted. If you actually get more for the used parts than it costs you to dismantle the system, then it is a negative cost. If you sell the system, either by itself or with the building it is attached to, then whatever you get for the PV system, either by itself or as an additional value of the building, is a negative salvage cost. Some costs could fit into more than one category. You have to make sure that if you count a cost in one category, you don't accidentally include it also in a different category. Very often, a PV system is installed at a location where there is already electricity available from the grid or another source. 
A major purpose of the PV system is to avoid some or all of the cost of the electricity from the other source. We often consider the avoided cost of electricity from another source as a negative cost. We count it this way because it is an expense we will no longer have after we install the system. But we have to be careful when we do this. Counting the avoided cost from another source as a negative cost only works for an investment analysis of just the PV system. If we are doing a side-by-side -side comparison of a PV system and a fuel-based system, we include the fuel cost as a cost for the fuel-based system, but not a negative cost for the PV system. Doing otherwise would be double counting. 